Hello everyone, I am Queen from chapters one and two. And this time around in chapter four, I'm so excited to hear what the new queens have to say. Stay tuned. And as you know, it is time for the Queen series to rock right now. You know it's time for Queen series chapter four. It ain't time for Queen series chapter three. We done that last year. This is Queen series chapter four. Well, we bring all the energy, all the fire. We got so many coins this year. I stopped counting. You about to just see a whole lot of coins come through and just rock the stage all day long. But there's one coin I'm going to do shot to. I call it my little sister for a reason because guess what? When you see me, you're going to see her. And I'm telling you, this coin, I have saw this coin change in front of my eyes. I saw her do a lot of amazing things that it's so great, too much for me to talk about. So what I'm going to do right now is Call in right now. And what I call, I call T Baby Go. So let's go ahead and say it right now. I hope she comes to the screen real quick. T Baby Go, where you at? Hi, everybody. My name is Tajane Jeffries, aka T the Goat. So let me tell you guys a little bit about myself. I am the youngest administrator in Push. Kyle doesn't like for me to say it, but I say it anyway. I host a room on Fridays and Sundays, but outside of that, my nine to five, I am a, I am your favorite fourth grade ELA specialist. I teach kids the fundamentals of reading, which are fluency, accuracy, and comprehension. I teach at an impoverished school uh, in Baltimore City. So, you know, that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. But outside of that, I am a podcaster. I host a podcast called Powerfully Black and Excellent. And I'm a motivational speaker. You can catch me in these clubhouse hallways. You can also catch me at my school, you know, in the morning announcements doing my thing. And then outside of that, it's just a lot of things that are coming down the pipeline for me. I'm about to become a, a licensed life a certified life coach and yeah it's just a lot of things that i'm dipping my hand in that i really don't want to say too much about but you know i'm gonna hand the mic back over to my big bro because we're gonna get this started it's the queen series baby i love that this is you see what i told you when you see me you see her so queen the next question you gotta ask, ask you this right here what is your description of a strong queen My description of a strong queen is a woman or an individual who knows her worth, who gets up and does what it is that she needs to do every day, regardless of the circumstance. A strong queen for me is somebody who sets the bar and expectations for other people. And not just to have other people strive to be like her, but strive to be better. Someone who encourages, influences, motivates, somebody who um, pushes people to limits and expectations that they have never gone before. So uh, there's a lot of things that I think about queens, but yeah, those are just a couple of my thoughts for uh, a strong queen. Okay, I love that. Now this is gonna be another question. I want you to give me a name of one queen or two queens that had a big influence in your life and tell us why. Okay, so the first queen would be my mother. Her name is Quandrilyn Wilson. Uh, and the reason why I chose her as somebody who influenced me is because my mom had me at a very young age. And we may not have always seen eye to eye, but the one thing that I could say about my mom is not only that we grew up together, but we've seen each other grow into the beautiful women that we are now. My mom has always had my back. She's always been my biggest supporter. She's been my coach when I was in the corner of the boxing ring. You know what I'm saying? She's my best friend. Um, and then outside of that, oh, Lord, I got to. The second queen that I would have to say is my godmother, Tanja Carter. Um, and the reason why I say my godmother is because my godmother sometimes uh, took on that role 
you know, like she did a lot more for me than I think most other people godmothers have done. I was like staying with her. She was like, I, she was the reason why I was on my first cell phone plan. Um, but I constantly see her get up every day and just hit the ground running. Like she never ran away from every, anything. She was always the type of queen who made sure she was about her business. You know, um, she was one of the first people to take me out of the state, you know, uh, well, no, not the first people, but yeah, like I, I've gone out of state with her, but she like literally took the role of godmother and changed it around. So I never once felt like I was ostracized or I never once felt like I was not her real child. Um, and she just accepted me, you know, she accepted everything that I came along with. She accepted all my baggage. Like you can't, you can't tell me that that's not my mom. So shout out to Kwanjalyn Wilson and Tanja Carter. I love y'all. And when y'all see this, I want y'all to know that I'm out here making y'all proud. So yeah, those are two queens in my life. I love that. Shout out to your queens. Love that. But you know some of y'all, y'all know how the queens series go. You know, I got to be able to stuff these coins. I got to. It's only right. So we got someone we got called the wordplay. The wordplay is something where she don't know what I'm going to say. Y'all don't know what I'm going to say. But I'm going to say one word. And when I say it, T has to describe exactly what that word means to her. So the first word we're going to say is push. When I say push, what comes to your mind? Pray until something happens automatically. When you say push, I think pray until something happens. Uh, because the reason why I say that is because that's the name of the group on Clubhouse. But also understanding that like everything is not going to happen in the way that you want it to happen. It's not going to happen in your time, but it's all in God's hands. So what we must do is we must pray until he makes it happen. We must pray until we see a change. We must pray because if we don't pray, we don't have a connection and we don't have communication with God. And when we don't have that connection and we don't have that communication, it means that we are um what's the word I'm looking for it means that we are not in communion with God and he always wants us to be in communion with him and so when I think of the word push I think of praying until something happens okay I love that I got something right now where instead of a word I'm gonna use your name Prophetess Lakeisha Richards when I say that, what comes to your mind? My mama! <laughs> Prophetess Lakeisha Richards is my spiritual mother. Uh, she is somebody who has talked me off of many alleges. Uh, she is the person who encourages me. She gets me right. I know whenever I call her, regardless of what the situation is, she's always going to be there. Uh, she's a powerful woman of God. She gives the best advice. I've never met her in person, but I'm pretty sure she gives some of the best hugs out there. I'm trying to tell you, like, I love that woman. She always called me her sugar. That's my mama. Um, yeah, so she's just an encouraging powerhouse of a queen, an amazing woman doing amazing things. And I can only hope to be half of the woman that she is. So, yeah, that's what I think about when I hear Prophetess Lakeisha. Okay, I love that. So your next one is going to be Baltimore. When I say Baltimore, what comes to your head? A diamond in the rough. I don't think that because, I think of because of the negative pictures that people see about Baltimore and like the news and stuff like that, like people don't understand how cultured this city is, how historical this city is, what type of things took place in this um, city. And like right now, it definitely looks like Baltimore is falling apart, but I'm not one to give up on my city. So when you think about Baltimore, you gotta think of some of the incredible people who have come out of Baltimore. Uh, 
You know what I'm saying? Like Billie Holiday. When you think of Baltimore, you got to think of some of the historic places in, in, in Baltimore, like Federal Hill, like Druid Hill Park. When you think of Baltimore, although if we are a little rough around the edges, you're going to meet some of the most amazing people out here. Everybody thinks that uh, Baltimore is like the wire. Every, everything in Baltimore is like the wire, which is not 110% true. There are some places that I can take you that you would see the wire activity. However, Baltimore as a whole is not the wire. And there's so many amazing people out here doing what they got to do in order to, you know, make the best out of this city and show the greater parts of this city. So Baltimore, diamond in the rough, number one answer. Okay, I love that because I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I used to watch the wire. And until when I started driving, when I started driving 18 Willis, I thought Baltimore was just that. But I've been through Baltimore. Baltimore is really a beautiful place. But they do have some places where I couldn't drive my truck at all. And I wouldn't declare nobody else drive their truck down either. But yes, shout out to everybody in Baltimore. Hey, thank y'all for birthing this queen right here. My little sister really do appreciate that. You know, so I don't know why she's looking like everybody can see it because it's at the speaker and nobody can see it right now, but don't even worry about it. But the next question is this right here. When we done the Queen series chapter three, we came up with a blueprint for chapter four. All the queens had to go back and watch one of these amazing queens. And the first queen, her name is D. Ross. So y'all that don't know who D. Ross is, y'all need to go back to Queen series chapter three, check out D. Ross. But Tajanae had the honor and privilege of watching her video. Tajanae, let everybody know what you saw from this video and why they should go watch it. So, in watching Dee's video, the thing that really struck me the most about her video was just the determination, right? So, for those of y'all who have not watched Dee's video, a quick spoiler about Dee. Dee is a blind hairstylist, right? And it just takes me back. Um, and, you know, just to give a little brief, a little bit about myself, right? I am visually impaired, Um aka blind i have vision but not a lot um and i remember going to this this retreat for blind and visually impaired individuals uh and we were like young adults we were all like maybe like college age and i remember going to this retreat and one of the questions that they asked was like would you ever go to a blind cosmetologist and i was like no I was on the side of people who said no because I'm very picky about my hair but see then I seen D and I was like you know what I might have to change that up but the reason why I decided that I was going to share that story was because the way that D carries herself not just you know because I've had the pleasure of like hearing her speak on Clubhouse but not just on Clubhouse but in that video it was an aura of determination. It was an aura of regardless of the situation and the circumstances, I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to do what it is that I have to do in order to make it happen. So she really just, you know, showed me that no matter what your circumstances, no matter what circumstances life brings you, there's always a way, you know what I'm saying? And like, even though, you know, she wasn't able to see herself on the camera or whatever the case may be, like her daughter was there helping her. So like, she's not ashamed of what her condition is and she's not ashamed to ask for help. And so that kind of gave me that perspective where I'm like, I need to start asking for help when I need it. I, I need to stop trying to solve everything by myself. And this probably is going to make Kyle smile because this is probably something that he's told me over a hundred thousand times, but like, I'm very prideful. I grew up as an independent child. So, but D really, you know, uh, she solidified that for me. She made it more concrete for me. Just the simple fact that it's okay to ask for help. I can still be independent while, you know, asking for help and just being determined to make my dreams come true so shout out to queen d ross since i cannot wait to see you back in these clubhouse streets i'm so proud of you and keep on doing your thing i love that yes if y'all don't know who d ross is go back to the queen series chapter three she's gonna be the first queen you see 
and I promise you, you're gonna be amazed. Like so, so, so amazed. Like Vinny, we love you. I hope you know that. Everybody watch these videos. You gotta watch it. You know what I'm saying? Completely. And with that right there, the next question: What do you want young queens, teenage queens, all queens, to take away from watching your video, Tajane? I want young queens, I want any queen who watches my video to know and to understand that life is a journey and life is a process. And the reason why I say that is because at any given point in your life, you may think that you have it all figured out. And then something is going to come and hit you that is going to turn your life completely upside down. Something is going to hit you that you are not ready for. Um, and so I want every queen to understand that they need to expect the unexpected at all times. I want every queen to understand that she can bounce back with resiliency. I want every queen to understand that she is beautiful, she is wise, and that she has something to offer. There is a network of queens who is standing behind you, and you might not even know who they are. So I just want to put it out there for all my queens. Sis, I love you. You are beautiful. You are worthy. You are worth it. Believe in yourself and keep chasing your dreams because nobody else is going to chase it for you. There's a lot that I want to say to queens but i'm gonna just keep this brief and i'm gonna keep this short because i know how kyle is about his time okay about his time so yeah that's what i got okay i love that oh um, we're about to get do right now we're gonna do the motivational prayer you know before we get through anything we do the motivational prayer we do it here so right now so my sister's on there i love it when queens pray so i'm gonna let my sister pray for us right now and don't don't, don't go anywhere yet because we got to say something to you but sis, go ahead and pray for the people. Father God, first of all, I want to thank you for this opportunity for me to even be able to speak on a platform where there are so many kings and queens who may have needed an encouraging word. Lord God, I thank you for placing this vision on Kyle's heart. Father God, I thank you for allowing me the ambition, the motivation, and the opportunity in order to be on here and match his energy, Lord God. Father God, I just thank you for everything that Kyle has in the works. I thank, for, I thank you for giving him the vision and making it plain for him in order for him to be able to execute it. Lord God, I thank you for every person that watches this video. I thank you for each and every person who um, is connected to either one of us, each and every person who's watching this video and each and every person that is connected to them, Lord God. Father God, I pray abundance. I pray wealth. I pray wisdom. I pray love. I pray joy. I pray strength and I pray healing, Lord God. Father God, I just thank you for all that you are doing, Lord God. I thank you for the abundance. I thank you for the doors that you are opening and closing as well, Lord God. I thank you for the shift in the atmosphere, the things that you are bringing forward to us, Lord God. Father God, I just thank you for the motivation, for the encouragement, for the push that you have given both individuals on this uh live tonight and in jesus name i pray amen sorry amen 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 if y'all want to know anything more about time tonight go into the description below you're going to see an Instagram. You're going to see a clubhouse. Anything you want to see about Taj tonight is in the description below. So once this video is over with, don't just get off the video. Go in the description and go follow on everything she does. Make sure you go do it. But Queen, I got something. What is your plan, your last post remarks to all the Queens watching your video right now, Queen? I want all the queens who are watching my video. Look, first of all, thank you. Because at this point, queens need to be supporting queens. Regardless of how far along um, another queen is in her journey in comparison to yours, we cannot keep comparing ourselves to one another. So I want to thank each and every queen who is on this, um, who is on this video and who is supporting me. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I love you. I just want you to know that we don't have to compete in order to win because we are all royal in our own ways. Baby girl, love yourself. Love your journey. Love the people who are around you that are helping you and love the people who have to separate themselves from you in order for you to become a better you. So I want you to, last thing that I'm going to leave you with is this. Stop thinking that 
practice makes perfect because perfection doesn't exist. We are striving every day to become a better version of us so we can become our best selves. So think about it like this. Practice makes perfect better and better makes best. I love you guys. Thank you again for the support in advance. And um, I hope you guys are hitting the ground running with this journey, with these journeys and these opportunities. Yes, yes. And we got something on the video. We do unmute your microphone. I need you to say this along with me. So unmute your microphone with me. First thing I want you to say, live strong. Live strong. The next thing I want you to say is live like a queen. Live like a queen. And the next thing I want to say, live with glory and a smile. Live with glory and a smile. <laughs> Y'all keep on being blessed. Keep God first, no matter what. Remember, queen, rock your crown. My name is Kyle Jacko. That's Sanjanae, a.k.a. Team Baby Goat. We'll see y'all next time. Take care and be blessed.